Who loves orange soda? Kale loves orange soda. Is it true? Mm-hmm. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Stay tuned, you'll love this one if you're a nice kid like me. Why, hello, it's me, and welcome to a Top 10 Tuesday with me, Random Ross, and this week, as part of our Top 10 Tuesdays throughout July, um, we have, well, this week it is my Top 10 90s kids shows. Now, I grew up in the 90s, and I remember Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, all them channels being in their glory days because right now they show such utter shit I don't have any interest in it anymore but back in the day they knew what they were doing with these sh with the channel and the shows that I'm about to unveil on this list so here we go my top 10 90s TV kids shows shows like the Scooby Doo and the Flintstones and Top Cat and the Jetsons and that will not be counted in this list as they were made before the 90s, in the 60s and 70s. But everything else that I'm about to unveil, well, uh, they were done in the 90s. So let's get on with it. Okay, so starting us off at number 10 is the Powerpuff Girls. Now admit it, even though you were a boy, you watched this show because I did, and I'm not ashamed to admit it, and I like the show. I like the villains in it, especially Mojo Jojo and Fuzzy Lumpkins and him. And the Gang Green Gang. And all the monsters that went to Monster Isle that just took a beating and then go home as a celebrity and that. I do. Bit of an odd way for a giant monster to live, but hey, that's what they did. And the mayor, he was funny too. So yeah, that was my number 10 pick, Powerpuff Girls. Let's get to number 9, shall we? At number 9, we got Goosebumps. Now, as a little kid, I used to be terrified of this show. I would run out of the room, shitting my pants the second it started. But looking at it now, watching it... I can't, it doesn't scare me anymore. I've embraced the horror since then. So, yeah. Um, but I didn't really watch it in the 90s when it was big. I mainly watched it on Netflix, binged it all. And um, I did like the film though with Jack Black. But yeah, Goosebumps, you know, we've got to put some at number 9, so that's what I put. Let's get on with the next one, shall we? Number 8 is Are You Afraid of the Dark? No, I am not afraid of the dark, but this show, you know, it wasn't scary. Well, it was scary, but it wasn't... I didn't find it as scary for some reason. I watched it. My my sister, she used to watch, like Goosebumps. I used to like Are You Afraid of the Dark? And it didn't scare me much, but I do remember one episode that absolutely scared the hell out of me, and I still think to this very day, it's quite a risky episode to be on a kid's horror anthology show, and that was The Tale of the Dead Man Float. I'm sure a lot can remember that one with the swimming pool and that red skeleton zombie ghost guy thing. Let's crack on, shall we? Seven! is Red and Stimpy. God, this show, I just never understood it at all. I just remember it being a mad, wacky and insane program. Not really getting it, but I look at it now and I think it's just weird and hilarious and... Yeah, just an odd show, but I like it. Uh, I don't know, I didn't really know what they were or what they were about, but... I do know now that Ren is meant to be a dog and Stimpy is a cat. Weird bunch. Mm. 
And at number six, we got Courage the Cowardly Dog. God, I love this show. It was so funny. I liked it how Courage would always go, ah, and then go to Muriel, oh, 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 and then just take the shape of whatever he saw. And that, and I like the catchphrases he's used, like, don't worry, Muriel, I'll save you, and the things I do for love. You know, and I remember one villain, Cats, who was like, hello, I'm Cat. And then whenever Curry beats him or something, he like goes, I wish you hadn't done that. Yeah, and that's where they live, literally. The middle of nowhere. I remember the pilot episode with the chicken and Eustace got turned into one or something. Yeah, it's a funny, it's, it's an odd show. You know, it did have a few scary moments, but I liked it. Next we got... At number five, I put the screw in the tuna. That's right, it's Keenan and Kel, two friends, two black guy friends who just every week you always got into some crazy dilemma because of Kel's idiocracy. And I don't know how Keenan put up with him for all these years, but I remember it being a funny show and I still think it is now and I love it. I've even rewatched it a couple of times because it's that good. Yeah, and Kel and his love for orange soda. And how he used to wind up Keenan's dad, Roger. Roger Rockmore. <laughs> and then there was always Keenan that always went, WHY?! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming in at number four, we have Ed, Ed and Eddie. Um, you know, three friends called Ed, Ed and Eddie. Uh, the second Ed being called Double D because he had two Ds in his name. Uh, yeah, um, crazy bunch they are, the Ed boys. Uh, I remember Eddie being the, like, like, the whole bossy boots, the whole, like, the quick thinker and that always wanted to make money 25 cents so they can buy jawbreakers and then there was double d who was the sensible well-behaved one and then there was ed who was the dumb one who didn't really wash or who but still i remember it being you know, a funny show and one of my favorites is the hypnosis one where they get that hypnotizing wheel and hypnotize people <laughs> coming up next we got Number three, do the book Come on! Yes, it is Johnny Bravo. <laughs> what a dumb blonde man with sunglasses and a big muscly body and sh little legs. You know, I remember this one, how he always used to chat up the women and how they used to turn him down with a punch because he gave every cheesy chat line he could. But yeah, it, it was a f an enjoyable show and I... Cut, and I do remember a lot of things like the one where he goes on that date with an antelope, Carol, and uh, one where he goes on a date with a woman who's a werewolf. <laughs> then she randomly turns into a stamp collector at the end. And then there's that one where he's like, Oh no, mama, there's a clown on the wing. He was also a bit of a mama's boy, too. <laughs> but yeah, I loved that show, Johnny Bravo, as a kid. At number two, we got cow and chicken. Uh, two siblings, one being a cow and the other being a chicken. Mama had a cow, mama had a chicken, dad was proud, he didn't care how. Um, yeah, that's basically what they were, cow and chicken. Um, I remember that being a fun show to watch. I do, I, one of my favourite episodes was Kick the Can. And the one where Chicken was refusing to have a bath and they were all prancing about, bursting for a wee. Uh, also, uh, the mum and dad, called Mom and Dad, we never saw the top of them, only half of them. And if you watch the pilot episode, we actually see that's just their full body. They're just half a person. Mad. 
Uh, I also like Chicken's friends, Flem and Earl, and the red guy. He always appeared in it. You know, with that, Why, hello, it's me! Who was meant to be the devil. And he appeared in another show set in that universe called um, I Am Weasel, which was also a good show. But i got to put Cow and Chicken there because I did love that first. Next we got the Honourable Mentions. Of course, before we get to my number one pick, I want to give out some honourable mentions to some 90s kids shows that didn't quite make the top 10, but I'm still counting in there anyway. So the honourable mentions are Batman the Animated Series, Rocco's Modern Life, uh, Cat Dog, Rugrats, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, Power Rangers, I Am Weasel, Spider-Man, X-Men the Animated Series, uh, Samurai Jack, Doug, and Cousin Skeeter. Okay, so time for that moment of truth. The number one pick. What is it? Let's find out. And finally, at number one is Dexter's Lab. A little ginger kid in his lab coat and black boots with his annoying ballet dancing sister, Dee Dee. Yeah, I love this show a lot. You know, it is still one of my favourites that I can watch again and again and not get bored with. You know, his parents completely oblivious to his laboratory and he's in that. You know, I just, com I, I just love this show and I like how he has the arch nemesis, Mandark. And how he fights and saves the earth with a giant robot and stuff. And how he idolises a superhero known as Major Glory. Yeah, I loved this show as a kid and it is still my favourite one. Uh, to this very day, from the 90s. Um, what else? Uh, one of my favourite episodes is the parrot episode. The parrot trap, robot parrot. And yeah, I love it. And there you have it, the my top 10 um, 90s uh, TV kids shows. Uh, what did you think to them in, in this list? Um, you know, I just love these 90s kids shows. In fact, I always like to reminisce and watch them and spot out things that I might have missed as a kid that were aimed at adults. But yeah, that's been my top 10. What are your top 10? Tell me down in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends and also uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You know, and you know, please do subscribe because I am so, so close to hitting 200. And when I get to 200, I am planning to do something real special to show how grateful I am for that. So please, you know, try and get the word out there as well. Uh, but anyway, you know... Um, so yeah, that's it for this week's uh, Top 10 Tuesday. So I'll be back next Tuesday with another Top 10 list. What will the theme be? Well, you'll have to find out next time. So yeah, until next time, I bid you all a goodbye, friends. Goodbye. <laughs>